Hi guys, this is Eve Robbins, finally back with another Advent Vega ROM review. This time we're looking at Vega ICS, uh, ice cream sandwich on the Advent Vega. Uh, this is running a version of Android 4.0.3 uh, from over on tablet ROMs. It's still an alpha build, so it's not 100%, but it is, it's, it's good, it works well. Um, there's a few little th silly things about it, like the Wi-Fi can drop off when you put it to sleep. Um, the screen can be a bit overly sensitive and notifications is a little bit funny whereas sometimes you'll click it it'll work first time sometimes it takes a few goes like that um, that's the bad things out of the way let's get the good things going so as you can see it's running ice cream sandwich we've got the nice little icons down here we've got a nice new menu system where it's got its nice little fade in which is great um, you've got the ability to make folders on the desktop just by dragging and dropping a bit like you can on the iPhone and iPad drop those in there or open up the folder click the folder name and we've named the folder really straightforward and pretty slick really um, full flash enabled not on the basic browser at the moment as it falls over to some kind of weird set in the background it breaks but it does work fine if you use things like Dolphin and um, I think it works on Opera as well but um, I've kind of I've not used Opera yet as I'm not a big fan of it. Um, Chrome Beta, that's quite good. That doesn't come pre-installed. These are apps I've put on later. Um, Chrome Beta works really well, but it's an it's a I, ICS only app, hence why it's on it. Uh, Firefox works quite well as well. Netflix, we'll just jump into that and play a little video. You see, it's quite quick nipping between programs, so it's got some quite good memory management going on. It's got some quite good quality video. This is um, live streaming from Netflix. And that's enough for Westwood. Um, sound quality on this is quite good. The only downside is it is the old style music app, so you've got things like this. Um, isn't as nice as the music app on Vega Comb. But hey, um, hopefully we'll get some kind of collaboration or you can always use a third party browser which is um, quite good for your music so you could use some like pro player or something like that a couple of the pre-installed apps uh, you've got a quite good music um, sorry movie studio for remixing videos and things like that and putting effects on um ly file manager is quite good it's a bit like um astro one of the other downsides is to get into recovery mode or clockwork mod you have to use this application here to get it into it a bit like you used to have to on the uh, the Froyo versions and Gingerbread versions, you had to use an app to get it into recovery mode. It's a bit like that in this at the moment, uh, as when you do the long hold on power button, you do get the option to reboot and screenshot still, which is quite good. If you hit reboot and go to, say, recovery, it won't actually go into it. If you hit OK, you'll just go back into a, a normal boot and you'll get a normal desktop. Uh, you won't get anything else. Um, like I say, it is an alpha. It is pretty good for an alpha to be fair I mean the performance is quite respectable it's not slow, I've never had it stutter so far um, so they've done quite well uh, to get this up and running we'll do a quick game on here this is Zombie Dash, this is a freebie from the market this is one of the games I'm playing at the moment which is it's, it's pretty good, it works better on a big screen than a little screen but it's quite good, it's quite a fast paced game as well so we'll quickly jump in, because we're not doing a game review, we're doing a ROM review. Um, if you can hear me over that, that's quite loud. So you can see it's quite a loud uh, little system now. It's much louder than it was on Vegacomb. Um, it's not quite got the, st the stability of Vegacomb yet, so hopefully we'll get a nice mixture of the two soon. So you can see this is running quite nice. No slowdown on that at all, really. Um, one of my big gripes is the, t is the um, oversensitiveness of the screen as it can be quite hard to type passwords in there is a fix for that over on the tablet rooms forums um, which is this one here touch recalibrate the app you get built in is called shuttle tools which is the same from Vegacomb it's kind of carried over uh, where you can turn your USB into uh, host mode and plug in control pads and recalibrate the screen but it doesn't quite recalibrate the screen um, doesn't recalibrate the sensitiveness of it it kind of just leaves it as it is but it makes the screen more accurate whereas uh, the other one 
when you run this um, kind of desensitizes the screen a little bit but it only lasts until the system goes into a deep sleep which is something like if it's been on standby for an hour uh, then it will come back as the normal setting so you just have to run it again but other than that it's not a bad effort for a third version alpha so the guys haven't put it in beta yet as I don't think it's ready for it but now releasing a few little fixes for it here and there like the reboot loop there's a fix for that and there's a fix for a few other things um, over on the forums so you can download those and add them to your um, system to make it a little bit more stable um, when I do the next release I'll include all those patches and things the only thing that's separate really is the um, recalibrate uh, the camera still works so you see me pop up on the screen there with my nice short hair now seems to fall into a mohawk and you got a quick shot there of the new camera I'm using which is a Olympus uh, EPL1 which I got on kind of special at Christmas from PC World when I had their Blue Cross sale so we're doing some nice um, high quality videos sort of thing on it so it's got a nice lens and all that kind of stuff so you have to let me know if the video quality is up to scratch of the old ones and the sound quality also as well as this is a completely separate camera this is the first video on it um, if you guys like it I'll use it more for videos um, but as always if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the boxes below just down here um, I'll leave all the links in the doobly-doo so you guys can head over to tablet ROMs grab this ROM install it and all that kind of good stuff I will be doing a video on how to install this later as there has been some extra tools and applications made for installing the drivers and getting it up and running really quickly and things like that so I'll do a quick tutorial on that uh, it should help you guys out that have had uh, driver issues in the past which uh, should make the install process even smoother and um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, as always I'll see you guys next time